Hello and welcome to Natural Bridge in Springbrook National Park, although it's actually located down the bottom uh, off the Springbrook Plateau and in Numanbar Valley. Now, I was actually up here two weeks ago with my family, oops, stepped, <laughs> and uh, we came up in the late afternoon because the boys wanted to check out the glowworms in the glowworm cave. So we came up late afternoon and waited until it was dark and then had a look at the glowworms, which was quite cool. I did a little bit of video recording then, but probably enough for about two minutes worth. Um, and I thought since we got so much water, uh, rain in this last week, I thought I might just come back up and do a bit of a before and after to show kind of the difference all the rains made. Now it was about four days ago that it stopped raining. So there's probably not as much water in there today as there was back then, but uh, yeah, I think it should be interesting. nine o'clock in the morning and I actually meant to get here a bit earlier than this but didn't quite manage it uh, it's this is a really really popular spot so I didn't want to come during the middle of the day it looks like the creek has a lot of water going down it now unfortunately because it is such a popular spot the area off in here where the cave is and in the middle of the track you are not allowed to access it because um, they used to back when it didn't used to have so many people through but there's too many people now that come here and uh, it would get degraded and there's you know a lot of frogs and and other creatures that uh, live down here so they need to protect them so yeah it would be a nice a nice little area in there I think to photograph but unfortunately not allowed to go in but uh, We'll have a look what else we can find anyway. So I haven't quite got to Natural Bridge yet. Uh, and I saw this nice little cascade off to the side here. Now this is on the outside of the path. So this is a bit you are allowed to go off the track. So what I see oh, is this little scene here. Now I'm currently looking at it in a vertical composition. As you can probably see on the back there. Um, what I might do is put my 16 to 35 lens on and just see what that looks like then in a, a more landscape as well. Uh, the lens I've got in here, 20 mm, it's probably not quite wide enough to do in the landscape orientation because you don't get very much of the foreground in. It kind of cuts off. But uh, yeah, it's a really pleasant little scene here. And I think I'll spend a bit more time kind of working it, um, looking at different angles and things. I've, I've just now been playing around with the shutter speeds to work out what I like best for the water. And I think I've settled on uh, one 
one one point six of a second. So whatever that works out to, it's probably like point two of a second or something like that. Uh, yeah, kind of a half half a second to around there. One second not quite nice, but it, because the water's moving so fast, it ends up a bit too much. I think ends up kind of white and a quarter of a second just wasn't fast enough it looked a bit messy so i'm gonna stick around that kind of one half a second to uh yeah something like that not point two point eight of a second sorry i'd say 1.6 of a one one point six of a second. I'd have to actually work out the maths, but I'd say it's probably more like point eight of a second, something like that. And now, what I meant to also say is, I'm shooting at f11, and I um, look like I've got everything in focus. I'm focused on. around here so now I really like this tree with all its roots and then this little one up the side I'll probably try some close-up shots of just that little scene without too much of the creek in front of it as well um, and yeah once I've kind of got all the focus I then put it on to manual focus so I can not worry about that too much as you can see with the my camera it uh, it shows me with red my focus peaking what's in focus so that's really helpful about it from Natural Bridge. It's not a massive track but it is really beautiful in here. I very much enjoyed my little spot taking photos. It's very quiet and peaceful even though there's quite a lot of people here and uh, quite refreshing to be sitting by the creek. much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this look at natural bridge and the glow worms earlier on and if you enjoyed it giving it a, a thumbs up and a like always helps and uh, as always I love to hear from you all okay hope you're doing great I'll catch you all later